In this video we're going to look at some audio recording, benchmarking, and screenshots. For the audio recording, F10 is the hotkey to start and stop the audio recording. Uh, you can record for a duration, just like with the video, you can change this to set whatever you would like. Output formats, you have two choices, uh, WAV or MP4. You can allow multi-channel audio recording, uh, just like with the video, uh, to get that 5.1 if your source has that capability. And the record silence uh, basically continuously records. If you have this unchecked, it will pause when it does not detect input. So make sure that is checked, if, especially if you're trying to do like voiceover with a video. Um, and I'll, I'll go over that later because you can record separately, uh, video and audio separately at, at the same time. Uh, this is just like um, with the video, you have do not record, always record, um, hold a button down to record, or press and release to turn on and off. And of course the files over here, this is uh, MP4 and this is WAV uh, by the badging. For the benchmarking, uh, it's pretty straightforward. F11 starts and stops benchmarking. And basically this just creates a text file um, in this location, whatever location you decide to uh, have the output to. It's basically just a, a text file that has a uh, frames per second and the average frames per second uh, is, is kind of simple. For the screenshots, F12 is the hotkey. Um, this start stop is kind of a misnomer. It only takes one screenshot that I'm aware of each for each press of the F12 key. It does have you know some lag time so if you press it it records a screenshot few seconds later you can hit it again and it'll record another one. Um, just like with, with all of them you can click one, hold shift and select all of them or uh, hold control and select a couple. Um, if you want to delete them you can right click and hit delete or you can come down here and hit the minus sign. Uh, you can select between bitmap, PNG, and JPEG formats for the um, file. The entire desktop spans the monitors. If you have more than one monitor it will uh, take a screenshot of the whole span across all monitors. Or you can select individual monitors. I have two monitors so I have a desktop one and desktop two. And of course you can hit the um, green button down here to take a screenshot also. Um, as well as with the benchmarking and the audio. That's going to do it for this video. In the next video, I'm going to go over how to record voiceover separately from the video. A lot of people have an uh, issue with this, so make sure you tune into that. And um, I hope this video helps. If I can help you in any way, post a comment down below. I'll do my best. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. God bless.